Ava Bravo. You are very far from home. You are in a cold and desolate place. I am the only soul on Earth who knows you are here. You are completely off-grid. No phones or internet. All you have is what's in your front pocket. This is my hunting cabin, and you, Ava Bravo, are about to be hunted. Five miles directly north of this cabin, you'll find a lead to. Inside is a shiny snowmobile, cast up, ready to go. It is your only way off this mountain. You reach that snowmobile before I get to you. It's game over for me. You escaped civilization, and I am left stranded to die in the woods. As an elite sportsman, I insist on a true challenge. So I'll be hunting you with limited ammunition. My rifle holds three bullets, and those three bullets are the only ammunition in my possession. I get three chances to take you down. That's it. Use this to your advantage. Strategize, Ava Bravo. Two pieces of advice. First, don't just run off in a straight line. Second, if you're ransacking the cabin right now, looking for a way out, you are wasting precious time. There's nothing here that you could possibly weaponize. All you can do is start running. Because right now, Ava Bravo, I'm down in the basement. And I'm about to come up. Ten Mississippi. Nine Mississippi. Mississippi. Seven Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Five.
Five miles directly north of this cabin, you'll find a lean-to. Inside is a shiny snowmobile. Soy sobreviviente. Aquí, ahora y siempre. Soy una con el Creador.
lo encontré. Ahí está. Мы дарим друг другу тихий рай В объятиях нежных тает душа Луки, любовь, как ночной кайф Луки, луки, чувства на грани Словно тени скользят по стене Луки, луки, танцуем в тумане Где любовь расцветает в ночи, как цветы Луки, луки, любовь без слов Словно музыка льется в кровь Луки, луки, ты мой улов В лабиринтах чувств я тебя люблю Луки, луки, чувства на грани Словно тени скользят по стене Луки, луки, танцуем в тумане Где любовь расцветает в ночи, как цветы Лоуки, лоуки Чувства на грани Словно тени скользят по стене Лоуки, лоуки Танцуем в тумане Где любовь расцветает В ночи, как цветы
Where'd you shoot out there? Figured you'd be hungry. No, more for me. Don't move! <clears throat> Well, here we are, Ava B. You are the first guest to ever outsmart and outpower me. Where am I? Did my spikes get you at all? Where am I? Mm. Oh! Okay. Ah, this is fun. Oh, that fucking hurts. Pretty ironic, huh? You saving me? I'm saving me. Yeah, here. Pour a little of that tequila on the wound. And then a little into my mug right here. Just a little taste for the pain. Shut up. Oh. Oh, that's not fun. Don't move. I know who you are. You're that guy. The barbecue king. King's Castle Barbecue. Yeah, buddy king. It's nice to uh, meet you. You have like a hundred restaurants. 155 restaurants around the world. Your restaurants? It's big boy, isn't it? The barbecue? <laughs> no, I don't serve human flesh in my restaurants. I'm an elite sportsman, not a cannibal. <laughs> Well, I did eat that one guy. That was a long time ago. It was really, it was really more of a bucket list. Kind of thing. Shut up! Oh. <laughs> Done. Uh, Don't move. Yeah. <sighs> Don't move. Stand up. Uh, uh, uh. How did you get me here? Tell me the truth. Like I said, first on a snowmobile, and a sled the rest of the way. Before that? You mean? From my home. Spend a couple of months learning your routine. You wake up, you put on workout clothes, you grab a few bites of granola, you hop on your fancy spinning bike, you go take a shower. Then you get dressed. Sometimes you don't get dressed. You work from home, you cook for yourself, you watch TV at night. How did you get me here? You rarely leave your house at night. The occasional unpredictable night out with your girlfriends. Or when you take your garbage out. Sunday nights, 9.05, in your purple robe. Then in the middle of the night, I went into your bedroom. Gave you a shot. A shot of what? Fentanyl and heroin. A tranquilizer from the basement? When did you address me? <laughs> Get up! Take me to the fucking snowmobile! <sighs> Oh. Oh. Right now. Sure. Don't forget the bag. Oh. Hey. What is this? I keep seeing them.
No idea. You want to freeze or you want to walk? I do a lot of research so I can learn everything I can about my guests that come here. Guests? Yeah, you've told me. Like creeping around where I live, looking in my windows. Observation is a part of that research, of course. But so is television and newspaper and the internet. And I read everything that was written about what happened to you. But you never did one interview. And I never will. Why? I, look, something terrible happened to you, right? And people want to know how you got out of it. I'm not a victim. Camina, cabrón. I mean, how did you get out of that hopeless hole? Huh? Just give me a taste. Stop trying to psychoanalyze me, okay? Just fucking walk. Ready to share yet? It doesn't have to be at Albuquerque, okay? Even though I'm dying to hear. Look, it could be anything. Keep moving. Oh, man, you're tough. Okay, I'll start. Ask me anything. I'm an open book. Go ahead. Understandable. You have issues socializing, so I'll be you. Body. How'd you start the world famous barbecue? Great question, AB. Rudy's barbecue. Just outside of San Antonio. Leon Springs, Texas. You ever been there? My father took me on a three-week road trip. And that was actually the first time I met him. It was when he stole me from my mom's the day we left. He didn't even know my name. So he would just say, you getting hungry, buddy? Or you feeling tired, buddy? Anyway, so they go to Rudy's and the kid eats all the cream corn. And then the next night before they're leaving, the kid's begging the father if they can go back. Hey, you're stopping. Shh. What? It's probably wolves. <sighs> Buddy! <sighs> Buddy! <sighs> what are you waiting for? Let's go. Ava? Chinga tu madre! Eres un pendejo! Eres un imbécil! Ándale, asómate otra vez, cabrón, a ver si te atreves. Ava. Ava. Hey. I don't want you to die at the bottom of that pit. And you don't want that. I mean, you don't want to freeze and starve at the bottom of a pit. Oh, fuck. You have hands down been the best I've ever had up here.
I mean, most of the time, it's barely a challenge. That's why I came up with the three bullet roll, you know? <laughs> but you, you, Ava, you keep it interesting all on your own. Ava. I gotta go take care of something. The way I see it, you have two choices right now. You can die at the bottom of that pit, or when I come back, I'll help you out of there, and we can finish the game the way that it's supposed to be. Hey, buddy. I'll be back. Hey, no, 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 buddy. Don't leave me here, buddy. Shit. Well, shit. The way it's supposed to be.
sobreviviente aquí, ahora y siempre. Soy hombre con el creador. Estoy hecha a imagen y semejanza. Soy sobreviviente aquí, ahora y siempre. Soy una con el creador. Estoy hecha a imagen y semejanza. No te dejaste de ganar. No me va a ganar. Me, Tyke. You wanted a little taste, right? Of how I survived a year in that hell house. I did it the same way I'm gonna survive you. No crazy ninja skills, no magic tricks. I just wait for men who think they are so strong, so smart, so scary, to make dumbass mistakes. Dumbass. That's no story. You don't deserve my story. Here's what we're gonna do. I find it really hard to believe that your snowmobile is this far away. Yeah, well, I usually don't have to hike it with a hole in my leg or a gunpoint. It's not that far, trust me. If I don't see that fucking snowmobile in one hour, you are gonna see this one bullet. Because I trust me way more than I trust you. If you don't believe me, fucking try me. One hour. It's that way. Move it. Shut up. Look, I just want Shut up! I'm sick of your bullshit. That thing you had to go take care of. When I was in your pit, what was it? I thought I was supposed to shut up. As if that were possible. <sighs> it was nothing. Huh. It wasn't the soldier? The one you brought up here to kill, but obviously didn't? Not very elite. You know? You've killed before, right? Maybe you didn't mean it. That felt better, maybe you did, and that felt better. But I'm guessing you got a little blood on your hands from all that. Am I right? Is that what you think? Well, that's why you cry yourself to sleep every night. Is that how you got out of Albuquerque? Help! Help me! Over here! Right up there! Help! Oh, no. I'm up here! Help! No! No! Hey! 
She's got a gun. She's got a gun. Poor old lady, hey, hey. She's crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Lady, please hey, help me. Hey, I have help been kidnapped. Oh, I, I need your help. Please, don't listen to him. Look at me. Look at me. Look at what she did. Hey, no, 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 please wait. Get down. Get the fuck down. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, don't hit guys, me again. Don't hit me again, okay? Look. Look at what she's done. I'm really sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Look, listen, she, listen, listen, she's an animal rights activist, okay? And she's probably not too happy that you guys have been killing no. animals. No, 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 por favor, no le hagan caso. Llamen a la policía. Si yo fuera la mala aquí, no les pediría que llamaran a la policía, ¿no? Por favor. No puedo llamar a la policía, no hay señal aquí. Sí, solo Eso es para música. música. Solo es para música. Ok. Uh, ok. Bajen las manos, no le voy a hacer daño. No, 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 don't put your hands down. No, do not trust her. Don't trust her. No, no. Miren, te voy a dar esta arma con la condición de que le apuntes a este cabrón. No, no, don't take the gun. No, 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 yes. Hey. Cuidado con ese cabrón. Look. ¿Qué hacemos? Esto. Just look at me. Look. Look right here. Just look what he's doing. Okay, oh, subete, subete. Look. Yeah, vamos, yeah, vamos. Just look at the back of my head. Can you see that? Look at my lip. Look right here. Look. 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 Looks like you're still gonna need mine. What now? Are you just gonna break my neck so that I can move you fucking animal? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Right here. Right here. Right here. from me! Yeah. step closer but I do have this fucked up leg game on Ava your call oh, 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 oh. yeah it was close it was close the play time's over hey. yeah. right, this is down the stairs no no you don't start a story in the middle I want the whole thing beginning middle and end I want the tell-all but you didn't tell me your whole story. If you want my story, the whole thing, then it's only fair you do the same, right? You'll say the whole story? Yep. Deal, deal. Okay, where was I? You went back to Rudy's. Right, right, right. Then what? The police came, and they asked me if the man who stole me from my mother's was my real father. And I actually didn't know, so I, I shrugged. My father reached for his ID, and they shot him. That was it. OK, <clears throat> the end. That was boring as shit, but it was a nice appetizer for the main course, the whole story. I was at my mailbox when a delivery van pulled up. He hopped out of the van and said, good timing. Then slid the side door open. Your package is in here somewhere. I had to reach up for it. 
And in one second, someone grabbed me and pulled me inside. Next thing I remember, I was waking up in the basement. It was hot down there, dark, no windows. When he'd come down to either bring food or rape me, he opened the door at the top of the stairs. And for one second, this bright light from above shined down. Oh, but then he locked the door behind him and came down. One time he didn't lock the door. He just went to get something from the other corner of the basement. And the bright light just lit up the stairs. I thought I could get out. So I ran and I got out. But that's it. I told you there were no fancy tricks, no ninja skills. You made a dumbass mistake. What happened? He he brought down, he brought down a young girl. She was only 17. She was, she was beautiful, kind, smart, and scared. It, it didn't, matter what he did to me, just, just it didn't matter. It was listening to him doing that to her. Her crying, her screaming. I knew I had to get us out of there. I felt so responsible for her. I had to get her out of there. So the day he left the door open, and the light just shone down, I yelled, run. And we ran. I made it out of the house. She didn't. I hear her screams every day. We both killed someone we didn't want to. We're the same. Oh. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. All right, I respect that you tried that. Appreciate you telling me your story. I feel really connected to you right now. I don't know, I don't want to sound corny, but I do wish the day could go on forever. But all things come to an end, so. <laughs> Let's go. What? It's only fair you get to see the finish line. It's the way it's supposed to be.
You'll appreciate this. I can't believe it. I knew it, I knew it! Ava, listen. I knew I couldn't believe you. You motherfucker. You son of a bitch. Okay, things might not be as dark as they seem right now. All this? This whole journey? You... You were fucking stalling for time until you could kill me! All your talk about fair play, your rules, your fucking snowmobile? They were all fucking lies. They were all fucking lies! I'm not going in there again. Ava, stop. No mames! Pinche pendejo! Chinga tu madre! No, no, no. You were never gonna let me go. You just want me to walk in circles to play your fucking little game. Well, can you just shut up for a minute and listen? I admit, yes. This whole time I have been stalling so I could get the upper hand. Okay, that just took a little time. Okay? Fuck, right? Something happened out there, and I've had to be smarter and quicker and craftier than I have been in years. It was good for you, imbecile. Wait, hey, will you just hear me out? We both got our baggage, right? And it's just made us both a, a couple of fucked up loners, right? Just stacks the deck against us. We've had an interesting start, right? And. I don't know if we could ever trust each other. I mean, I don't even know if that's possible. <laughs> hey, but what I do know is that we don't have to be alone anymore. All gassed up, ready to go. Was it here all the time? All this fucking time. We both deserve a nice escape. I'm not talking about my cabin. I got a lot of money. We can go anywhere we want. Anywhere you want. So I've decided to let you decide. You can stay here with me, or you can jump on that snowmobile. Right on out of here. I won't come for you, honest to God. Your choice. That stings. You really think that I could just let you drive out of here and leave, huh? I'd never be free of you. What? How the fuck are you still alive? Are you gonna kill me with my mug? Shit. No, with your knife. <clears throat> hey, buddy. We're not the same. I win, you lose. Game over, hijo de puta. <clears throat> 